What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to Red Cat Live. We're here for yet another week, another installment, another episode. Guess what? We're climbing the episodes. We're like in the 60s now. That's crazy to think about, guys. Like sitting here, like just trying to fathom the thought alone that we're 60 some episodes into this. That's awesome. And it's all thanks to you guys. We're going to keep this going, uh, keep the momentum, you know, progressing forward. And keep bringing you guys a lot of cool stuff that we'll be sharing a lot more of here in the near future as well, right? Um, we've been kind of carrying the lowrider scene, the RC lowrider scene on our backs a little more excessively on the show. And I want to let all the folks know out there, uh, my crawler family that's out there, my basher family, guys, trust me, stuff is going to be coming for you episodes wise. We've got some stuff that we're planning on doing in the near future. Don't go too far. We haven't forgotten about you guys. But in the interim, it is the hottest item in the RC world right now in this RC lowrider scene. So because of that, we have done a little bit more focusing this last quarter on the scene more specifically. And it's going to potentially carry on into a couple other things that we're going to be doing in the near future as well. So you're not going to want to go too far because regardless of what we're doing, it should be a really good time. Brendan Armstrong, what's up, brother, man? You're first in line, man. Thank you so much for chiming in and hanging out, bro. Uh, Felix, what up, dog? How are you, bro? Hopefully you're enjoying your week and everyone's being safe. I always appreciate seeing uh, folks in the chat, so that's awesome. All right, guys, we got a couple of things we're going to talk about today, and I really kind of want to kick it off uh, by in a sense, beating a dead horse, but um, a lot of folks out there are starting their builds for the SEMA build-off. SEMA build-off, well, actually, you know what? Hold on. All right, now we moved over. SEMA build-off, right, has officially kicked off uh, as of last month. Uh, we're going to have, you know, quite a bit of cars being entered in, and it's going to get wild. I've talked to a couple folks that are planning on entering the build-off, but they don't want to share pictures just yet because they don't want to give away what they're doing, uh, and I can totally respect that. So, in the near future, you're going to start seeing a couple different things popping up. Um, from a lot of other builders. My goal in this is as they're dropping and as they're posting is to be able to bring them to you every week as I find them. Um, this week, I'm not going to really dive horribly into it, but I do really want to let you guys know if you guys are posting and building, even if you're in the process of building something, make sure you use the appropriate hashtag, hashtag RC SEMA build off 2022. Um, Red cat, you know, on there as well, RC Lowriders, but that one main hashtag is very important. If you go to the description of this video, it will give you a full breakdown of the rules, uh, where to sign up for the event or for the, you know, competition, uh, the build off, as well as some other proprietary information like hashtags and where to post. So if you are posting, Good for you. If you have not yet and you plan on posting, make sure you use those hashtags. Make sure you tag RedCat so that I can then pull those pictures and share them right here with everyone else to see. And if you don't want them to be seen, no problem. Just let me know. But if I find a picture, I want to post it. So <laughs> I want to get people hyped, right? And there's a lot of builds. And I want a lot of folks to know that there was a lot of builds that were done last year uh, that were amazing builds by themselves. Some that were not... Um, the normal 64 body. They were using hard bodies uh, from another set manufacturer onto our chassis. Guys, a lot of your projects I've seen have progressed a lot over the year. Just because you entered in last year doesn't mean you can't try your stab at it again this year. If you've added things to your car and maybe now you feel like it stands out a little bit more, send it. Full send mode. I want to see them. We want to see them. We're excited about it. Listen, SEMA is coming up in just shy of two months, actually just a little bit over two months from now. Uh, we'll be in Las Vegas, Nevada, and your vehicle, if chosen, will be shown on display for millions of people walking by to see. Now, with that said, as always, and as I've mentioned, we will solidify um, and protect and ensure the shipment to and from uh, for your vehicle to make sure that it's taken care of properly and that it doesn't get damaged in transportation. Sorry, in transportation. Uh, with that said, there's going to be an RC Lowrider that's going to be given to the winner. So that's all I'm going to say, you know, as far as a giveaway. You're going to get something. It's going to be really cool. But regardless, 
you guys need to start using the hashtags and start posting and start tagging us. Because I'm telling you, the more you do that, the more ammo I have to then show all the masses that be that decide on who's going to win this year. So if you are building, let's do it, man. Let's have a good time with it. Uh, let's chime in into the uh, comments here. Let's see what's up to a couple people. Uh, Darian Gatling, what's going on, sir? How are you? Hopefully you're having a good one, man. Hopefully business is taking off for you. I know you're doing some, uh, some new ventures uh, as well. So, man, right on. Tony Gutierrez, que paso? How are you, sir, man? Thank you so much for chiming in week after week, brother. I hope you're doing well. Um, and I can't Wait to see you soon, bro. Um, Carlos Perez, what's going on? How are you, man? Hopefully you're having a good week. Guys, and just so you know, there's sometimes when you make comments uh, on this feed, I'm seeing what's here in front of my screen. And I've noticed that there's a lot of times where comments, for some reason, Facebook will filter or move them around. And I may not be able to see your comment live as it's happening. Rest assured, I will always try to come back and comment on it or answer a question uh, as it comes up in the future if for some reason I missed it during the live feed. Um, sometimes, too, the comments are scrolling, so it's kind of hard to find out exactly where they're at. I'm not ignoring you guys. All of you guys are equally important, and I just want to say what's up to Compton because last week I missed Compton, California. What's up? Much love to you guys out there. All of SoCal, all of NorCal, man. I love you guys. Cali love. Um, Let's see. Alex Zamora, what's going on, sir? How are you? Uh, Frankie Brown, what up? So, let's see. I'm planning on being at SEMA with my... Hey, Tony, that's what's up, man. So, hopefully, I'll be able to bump into you um, and hang out and talk and maybe get some tacos. So, I'm down, bro. Let's make it happen. Um Let's see. Christopher Shed's in the house. Hey, what's up? Shed Hobbies in the house. What's going on, Shed Hobbies? Thank you so much for stopping by and saying what's up. So, guys, we've talked about SEMA. You guys know what the rules are. You guys should uh, definitely take a look at uh, uh, the description of this video to make sure that you're following the rules so that we can make sure we get you guys taken care of and get your guys' uh, builds starting to share here on the lives as well. Oscar Ramirez, along with the red cat shirt, I know you will have OG Raider shirt all day, every day, brother. <laughs> hey, I'm in Vegas, so, you know, hey, well, to be fair, I am. I was born and raised in Oakland, so, you know what I'm saying, to me, Raiders is, is just, it is what it is. No hate on anyone else. I'm probably going to get some hate from people anyways. I don't care because it's Raider Nation, whatever. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, Darian, what's going on, man? Uh, you're still looking for suspension arms for your 64. Been on back order forever. Yeah. I know. Make sure you click the notify me link and we'll let you know as soon as they arrive, Darren. Thank you for the comment. All right, guys, let's get on to the next subject at hand. Let's, uh, let's uh, talk about it. So the main key ingredient today that I want to share with you guys, and I'm really excited to do so um, because um, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a backstory to this. So back, as you guys know, back in 2020, uh, late 2019, early 2020, we dropped the Red Cat 64. And the history behind it was thereafter awesome, right? The growth in the hobby and the RC lowrider scene was immense. Uh, we got to see a lot of people come back into the hobby due to the car. We saw one-to-one -one, uh, enthusiasts of the real lowrider scene jump into this scene as well and, and enjoying it as their own, right? And because of that, we've caught the attention over the course of time um, of some folks that wanted to do a special collaboration with Red Cat. And I am talking about Dixon Flannel Company. So get it, guys. I'm from Northern California, born and raised in the Bay Area. Even from the Bay Area, I was a big fan of Dixon Flannel. I've owned some of their products. I've always been a big fan. They've always fit well. They don't really shrink. So for us bigger boys, they work great, especially if you are going to buy you know, the same shirt for you and all of your kids. They've always been clutch at having all those sizes. So I knew of them from California. So to my surprise, when I moved to Arizona, and even for us, I found that Dixon Flannel's main headquarters is only a rock toss away from our warehouse. So nonetheless, I've gone over there and checked it out, and they have an awesome location, an awesome home base uh, with a lot of things that, uh, that they have to offer there, clothing-wise, shirt, apparel, you know, and now something else. So as of, you know, Tomorrow, they're going to drop something, and I'll, sh I'll show you guys here in a little bit, but 
Um, I'm not going to drop it just yet. I don't want you guys to see it just yet. Um, well, during the course of time, we caught Dixon Flannel's attention, right? Danny Dreyer, the owner of Dixon Flannel, was very impressed with the work uh, Red Cat did on the 64. Uh, and him being a fan of lowriders and having a lowrider himself, which is a white drop top 64 named La Huera, um, he was like, yo, yo, let's collab. I want to do something. I want to recreate my car. My car is very important to me. It's very special. And I want to do something. Can we do something? Of course, Red Cat was like, yeah, let's have fun with this. Let's do something and let's collab, right? Well, the rest was honestly genuinely history because now in 2022, speeding it up till today, uh, we have something that we're going to share with you guys that is, in my opinion, really, really cool, very unique, and it's only going to be available in one spot. So I'll drop all those details for you in one piece. A little backstory as to how we got to this exact location or this spot is um, earlier in the year, they had the Arizona Lowrider Super Show. And of course, Dixon Flannel was the highlighted sponsor of the event. They had their own shirt commemorative to the event. The, you know, Arizona um, Lowrider community embraced them, um, showed them a lot of love, and it was just a great overall event. It was a good time, family friendly, and everyone that was included, all of them, have nothing but positive have had nothing but positive things to say about the event um so it was really kind of cool you know to be able to work with dixon flannel and have those ideas in mind uh where they wanted to do something a little different um so of course you know being that uh, uh, they were big fans of the lowrider scene and they love what we were doing we were able to do some work with them that potentially you know will be something that could spark some other things. It's a collaboration, right? Dixon Flannel's been known for collaboration from the Mamba uh, shirt to doing work with, you know, the Friday the 13th people. They've had their own commemorative shirts for a lot of different scenarios. And that's the exciting part about it, right? These guys have been known to collaborate with people like Fox Shocks. They've been collaborating with so many people over the years, like Vans, that, you know, they're here, they're now, they're relevant, they've maintained. And because of that, um, you know, They've been able to grow their business since 2013. You know, Dix has been around since 2013. They started a business selling these shirts, and they've blown up ever since. Well, let me see here. Well, so um, I always see the comments, and I'm like, man, what am I missing? Uh, but I'm really excited, guys, because this next product that I'm going to share with you guys, and I'm going to show you guys a quick picture of it. Um, this is the one-to-one -one La Huera next to its scale predecessor, the Red Cat 64 Dixon Flannel Edition La Huera. <clears throat> this is the first time that Red Cat's offered a drop top option out of the gate. This vehicle will not be available on our website. This is gonna be only exclusively to Dixon Flannel. They have them all and they do have a select limited number run. So I know that as of tomorrow, the specs are in the comments, sorry, in the description of this video, but as of tomorrow, 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, it goes on sale. Well, they'll sell it for a specific price, um, an entry level price that they call or a, uh, a special. And then after that, it's going to raise to a standard MSRP. So if you are interested in this car, there's definitely something to think about. If you wanted a convertible, then again, this is one to think about. And if you're one of those diehard Dixon, flan Dixon fans, this is the car to think about. This is totally for you guys. So, all right, that's uh, picture number one of La Huera, right? Um, we're going to hit you number two. Wow, this is a beautiful car. So we, we ended up trying to recreate Danny Dreyer's car, which was a 64 white drop top um, Impala. Uh, we went ahead and added the gold trim, gold stickers, gold wheels, um, and we didn't want to just stop there, right? We wanted to make it a convertible to match his car. On top of that, what we actually also did for them was that we uh, gave him an option to be able to include, as you guys can see right here, um, the package of chrome bits. So the car actually comes from the factory with the uh, chrome arms, the V2 arms, with the corrected steering angle. You're gonna have the actual uh, upper lower control arms, the transmission housing, the gold low profile red cat wheels and tires, gold chassis, uh, differential, bell and crank, and of course the uh, trunk pan uh, as well. So 
It will come from the factory with the chrome bits. It will come from the factory as a convertible. It will come from the factory with gold. Because I love gold, right? Who doesn't love gold? So, again, guys, you know, this is going to be a really cool car. Um, you know, definitely something that I'm excited to see them do. They're going to drop it tomorrow. They actually leaked some pictures of the vehicle yesterday and got an insane amount of response to it. Um, it's been an awesome awesome ride and because of that i'm going to share with you guys what the car actually looks like here in front of me here is the dixon final edition la Huera, right car will come as i mentioned as a drop top gold trim um all the chrome bits underneath and please don't mind i actually already started modifying this one i put chains on it but it'll come with the chrome bits underneath, um, gold wheels, and uh, again, you know, as I mentioned, everything else is going to be just as you've seen in the past. Um, the actual livery sticker package inside of the actual box, the sleeve is going to be a Dixon Final Edition sleeve. So just like you've seen us do with our own Red Cat logo with the brick in the back and the Red Cat logo in the middle, this will be more of a full-on Dixon flannel uh, livery so that for those people that are huge fans, and we know there are an immense amount of them when it comes to Dixon flannel, we'll have everything that they've asked for in a cool display fashion. So let's see here. Let's check out uh, what we got here. Uh, let's see what we got with the comments. Tony says, I'm in for the convertible. He loves a convertible. I love that. Um, Josh Gonzalez, what's going on? It's representing San Jose, California. Uh, the vert, yeah, Terry Burke says it's a vert. Yep, you got it, brother. Um, no, I did. Tony, Tony asks, did I cut each one of the roofs? Trust me, I can't cut that many roofs in a row and still have digits. I wouldn't be able to text you back that I always forget to do already. But nonetheless, yeah. So, guys, here it is, man. So, the car itself does have its own sticker kit on it as well. Uh, you guys can see it has these, like, calligraphy scroll type of stickers. Scroll type stickers that kind of go down the side of the car as well. License plate. Worked hard. Work hard. Again, chrome underneath. So... Again, this bad boy drops tomorrow. Limited run will be available only on the Dixon Flannel website. Uh, if you go to the link that is in our description of this video, right now that link is not available yet because it's not active. But as of 5 p.m. tomorrow, that link will be active and you'll be able to head on over there and check it out. Uh, we hope that it goes well for them. We wish them the best. We were really excited to do this collaboration with them. It's been an immense blast to do uh and as mentioned i mean look at the uh the one-to-one -one that he has you know what i'm saying it, it, they're lowrider people so why not do something that goes with the the whole scene right um let's see here it's funny. So Joe Lobo sells. Most people bought these and end up selling them because they get bored with them easy. Hey, where's my lowrider people at? Because I know I didn't get bored with mine. I know a lot of people didn't. Uh, they must not be real lowriders. It's all good, though. Um, hey, Terry, I appreciate that, man. You're stoked. I love it, bro. I love it. Uh, Teddy Wesby, what's up? Yes, man. Yes, I love it. Um, let's see. Uh... Joe Lovio wants to know, Red Cat releasing a new crawler basher. Uh, in the future, things are going to come out. That's all I can tell you. Kind of stay put, stay tuned, because there's going to be a lot of great stuff coming in the near future. Um, just joined. The RC Patina guy just joined. Can I start over again? <sighs> all right. RC Patina guy, SEMA build off. Make sure you're tagging, hashtagging all the appropriate stuff. Check out the description, all the information is there. And then this is the Dixon Final Edition, uh, 64, called La Huera. And uh, as mentioned, there it is. There's a picture of it out in the uh, beautiful Arizona sky in the back. And then, of course, it will come with the all the chrome bits that you see that we offer for the car as well. It's a little recap for you, brother. Um, 
I asked uh, Red Cat TikTok, but I still don't see that yet. Oh, you still want that toolkit. I see you, bro. I see you, man. Casper <laughs> uh, Larson, what's going on, sir? Um, you know, Teddy, um, if, if I were to give you a toolkit, it'd be like a scale toolkit, man. You may not be happy with it. You're not going to be able to do much with it. <laughs> um, all right. Dang, Tony says he's got 10 lowriders and counting. You're not bored, bro. Um, Corey Hayes says he's waiting on bodies to drop. Hey, you know what? That 64 is getting close, guys. I'm telling you. I know a lot of you guys have had questions. I believe even, Corey, you had a question that you put up last night on the uh, Red Cat lowrider page. And just to answer your question here in front of everyone, the 1962 One Piece body should be arriving sometime this month in August. Uh, we hope that the late 70s Caprice Classic four-door uh, should be available sometime in September. So don't hold me on the exact date because I don't know when they're exactly going to get here, but that's the projected time frame that was given to me. And if that changes and I get a little bit more of an update as we go, I'll be happy to share it with you guys uh, on next week's episode. Jimmy Rodriguez representing Denver. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Jeff Lozano, uh, you're going to have to check the website for Dixon Flannel to see what they're going to be asking for because it's only going to be exclusively sold through Dixon Flannel. Uh, Yoshi, Yoshi, as I mentioned, the price will be available through them directly, guys. Um, Felix Delgadillo, he's on number seven. I love it, man. Seven cars and counting Lolos. You got me beat now, bro. I'm at six right now. Um, Corey Hayes, do the bodies come with anything? At this time, I do not believe they come with anything off the top of my head. Uh, but, Corey, I will try and get a valid answer to that, a, a significant uh, dead answer to that. And I'll hopefully give that to you guys either in post or on next week's episode just to make sure that you know exactly what you're getting with those bodies. We'll also do an unboxing here of that body when it arrives uh, to share with you guys exactly what comes with it, if it's just a body or not. Um, I have not been let into more details as of yet, but as they come in, I'll be happy to share them with you guys. Thank you so much for the question. It's a great question indeed. Um, John Bignon, how much is the kit? Which kit uh, are we talking about? <laughs> Teddy Wesby says, my wife almost put me out buying two. Y'all got six and seven? What? Nice. Yeah, dude. Um, I got a supportive wife, unfortunately. She uh, she just makes me sleep with my cars, you know. So I, I sleep in the garage. I got a cot. I got all my 64s, my crawlers, my bashers. They keep me warm. They keep me safe, you know. <laughs> oh, man. Um, okay, that is not a kit, John Pignon. That, this is this car right here. This is the Dixon Flannel Edition car, and it will be available only exclusively through Dixon Flannel. They will drop their price, uh, their listed price of sale for the car tomorrow at 5 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time on their website. Again, Dixon Flannel dot. Dixon Flannel Company uh, is the name of the company. DixonFlannel.com is where you can find them. There's also a link in the description where you can find it as well. So, I'll move that bad boy out of the way. Let's see here. Frankie, Frankie Franco says, I keep getting looked at funny trying to buy a second and third. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's some folks that they, they didn't get bored. You know what I mean? No, no disrespect. If they did get bored, uh, it may just not have been for them, you know. But uh, I know a lot of people that we, we have not gotten bored yet. In fact, I know almost 23,000 people that own them and are on the page. So, you know, think about that. Like, oh, right? That we have that many members on the page that are either looking for them or not. So, um, guys, I appreciate that, man. So, you know, last week, we're going to change gears here for a little bit. Um, Terry, I'm stoked that it's a factory vert. Yes. And I'll show you the cut line on it, Terry, just so you guys can see. It's not a, it's not a bad one. There's a, a sticker kit that we're talking about. There's a the graphics on it. So, all right, enough of that. You guys know where to find it. We're excited. Uh, we wish Dixon Flannel the best on this uh, venture. 
Uh, I know it's going to be fun. I know that they're doing some really cool stuff in the background with their cars. Only the future is going to tell what exactly they do. So, let's see. Christopher said, I, I agree. Uh, they, they may not be fans of the scene, right? Um, but no big deal. It's not for everyone, and we get that, right? We know people that buy crawlers, and they go out, and they don't only use them once, and that's not their thing. They're a basher, right? They like to go fast, and it's too slow for them. We, we've seen it happen with lots of avenues of the hobby. Let me tell you, I have three no-prep cars that I've built that I plan on racing. One of them is my retired car. I've raced it, you know, right when the no-prep scene started. I have two other cars that I've built, and they've just kind of collected dust. I could easily just sell them because I don't use them anymore. But I'm a hoarder, specifically when it comes to RC cars. If my wife's watching, don't worry. She's, she's cool. She knows that I'm a hoarder and that I collect these bad boys. But it's the fun part. It's, it's what really makes the hobby... Uh, in my opinion, just so much fun, right? So guys, last week, we dropped a hint that uh, our big homie, Mr. Jeffries, Jerome, uh, was planning a trip out to Arizona. He posted a picture. In fact, I have the picture right here. Um, he posted this bad boy right here. Something hot is coming. You guys remember that. We touched base on that last week a little bit. Um, you know, so he's... he's Mentioned in his post that he's planning a trip to Arizona to the heat to the to the devil's armpit to hang out with us and just sweat it out and talk our seats. Well, a little birdie told me that you guys actually might see him on this show. Yeah, so definitely you're gonna want to stay tuned as we get closer to the date and as I find out dates um, because the, he's gonna be supposedly talking to me and we're gonna be chopping it up you know what i mean so that could be cool right but listen jerry's is an outstanding dude great dude he is a pillar in the hobby specifically when it comes to this sector of the hobby and uh we've learned quite a bit from him and we continue to right because he's always being creative and doing things that just blow us away from his amazing scale true 13 wheels to all the trinkets that he sells for the cars and, and including you know um the videos that he does with them they're always fun right um but i couldn't let my boy jeffries come to arizona and dealing with this heat without having proper attire, right? He's got to have Arizona attire, and he's got, and it's got to be something that like only Jeffries would rock. So I got to thinking, it's hot. He's gonna need something comfortable. Yeah, he can probably take care of his own clothes. He can probably take care of his own, you know, uh, you know, buy shorts. You know, I, I'm sure the Netherlands have summers out there as well but then i got to thinking what if i do my boy right and hook him up so i made my boy a special set of crocs his feet are going to be comfortable crocs are aerated they're going to allow his feet to breathe he's going to be nice and cool here in the in the desert heat i mean true 13s so he's, he's you know he's styling he's going to be rocking them he's got his plaque on him they're official, right? So, I'm Jerry's. I'm waiting for you, bro. I'm ready to hang out. I'm ready to have a good time. I'm ready to embrace seeing your brother, man. We look forward to it. Um, I got your shoes ready, so let's do it. Let's rock it. Um, let's do it, man. Let's have a good time. So, guys, man, um, I appreciate you guys swinging on by every single week uh, as we build this up. I am really excited for what the near future is going to hold. A lot of great things are happening. When it comes to bashers, when it comes to crawlers, when it comes to RC lowriders, we have quite a bit of arsenal of things that we're working on behind the scenes that are just not at the point where I can dump and vomit on you guys all the cool stuff. But rest assured. We're not stopping, we're working, and diligently ready to bring some cool stuff out, and we're excited. So, don't go too far, make sure you guys see these, yeah, I know you guys want them, tell me, it, it, tell me you wouldn't rock it, I just, I'm, I'm sure that people wouldn't rock it, because there's people that hate Crocs, but, I'd rock them, shoot, I'd rock these all day. <laughs> Oh, man, I need to put just like a little taco sticker on them for myself. But, yeah, so, you know, 
This is our latest drop, guys. The Jeffries Edition Crocs will be available sometime in 2028, so stay tuned. Um, you know, we're going to offer them, Jeffries is going to offer them in a straight lace and a true spoke wheel, so you never know. <laughs> So, man, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Much love. Congratulations to Dixon Flannel. We appreciate the collaboration. We look forward to seeing uh, how it does for you guys. We love what you guys are doing with your products. Uh, thank you so much to everyone that wants to be a part of the SEMA build-off. Thank you, everyone, that enjoyed this awesome croc moment. And, uh, yeah, man, let's get into it. Let's have a good rest of our week. Uh, and I'll see you guys next week. Same time, same channel, different shenanigans. Until then, you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and uh, don't let your lipos sit because they go bad. So store them properly. Peace.